Hey guys, it's Tony from Logan back with another video for you. Uh, the lights and all the shadows, if you have a look, they're all a bit messed up there. I'm not sure whether it's my lights or my camera, but anyway, down to business. I'm uh, going to be looking at a uh, Mushkin power supply today. Uh, and I've, I've not actually done a power supply uh, unboxing stroke review on the channel before. Now we have got our own, or I say we, Overclock 3D has got their own proper power supply bench testing rig which my colleague James is the power supply guru he can kind of pop one open and look inside and knows what everything is and what everything's doing and uh, will stress the living hell out of everything now Mushkin wanted me to uh, put this up on the channel now I'm not going to pretend that power supplies are my specialist subject at the end of the day I generally like to turn them on, fit them, then look nice uh, and that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today, is looking at the aesthetics, but the, uh, this is the 1200 watt version. And I'm going to be using this on my bench rig over the next kind of month, two months. Uh, I have got some, uh, in the future I've got some SLI 580 stuff to do. And pretty much with my test rig, when it's on, it's being stressed. It's not like uh, the test rig is ever just being used for web browsing or anything like that. If it's on, then I'm working on it. it. Just it really depends what's on the top that makes any uh, any changes really. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in. We're going to get this box open and have a look what uh, goodies are inside, and uh, then I'm going to uh, get it on the bench rig, and you will see it over the coming weeks and months. All the reviews will be using this power supply. So if you're thinking about buying this, and you found it, then the idea is, is you ask a question in uh, underneath and then literally I will be able to give you a direct answer on it or at least attempt to answer your questions because I'll actually be using it rather than just doing a quick review on it and then leaving it. Um, so yeah, it's different. It's not the way we would normally do things but pff, we just thought we'd give it a crack. Anyway, I'm going to bring the uh, camera in now and we'll, we'll have a good look. Right then down to the box. They call this uh, the Dual series of power supplies. Um, obviously Dual, Killer Dual, all to do with kind of wattage and electrics and stuff like that. It's a pretty tidy looking box actually. Plain to the point, got everything on the outside that you could possibly need. It tells you about all the adapters and stuff that you've got. Um, and it's saying it's got it's a six rail power supply. And it's saying that the uh, all of the rails are 19 amps, 30 amps on the 5 volt rail, 30 amps on the 3.3 volt rail, uh, 1,000 watt, 1,008 watt in total across the 12 volt rails, and then a total of 200 watt across the 5 volt and the 3.3 volt uh, rail, uh, giving a obviously a total of 1,200 watts, which is what it is. And then a selection about all of the uh, different cables and stuff that it's got inside. But let's get it open rather than me sitting here and just reading it. Anyway, if we pop this box out, we'll have a look at this box first. Right, we have a look. That's a basic guide and it's actually just a box for the cables normally with the power supply you would get these in like a special little uh, bag or something and bring you in and give you a I'll try and give you a close-up of the braid itself not sure what I think about that kind of it's like a turquoise color Now I'm not sure whether that's the power supply end or whether that's the power supply end, but whatever. I'm not really I'm not sure. Just because, you know, at the end of the day, the way I do my reviews is if I don't like something or I'm not sure about something, it doesn't matter who you are, I'll tell you. And I'm not a hundred percent on that blue. Now, this blue is PCI Express. Now we do see this blue quite a bit pop up with quite a lot of power supplies, it's just, it's just a blue end really. I would much rather that the actual 
connection was like a custom connection so it couldn't go anywhere else and everything was black or it just sort of say on it somewhere do you know what I mean, PCI Express 1 or SATA or something like that, do you know what I mean, so you can never get them mixed up but anyway, and there you've got one, two You've got four PCI Express cables and they're all six and eight pin. You've got the little dangly extra, so you can do eights as well. So that's your PCI Express cables. I'm assuming, because it doesn't say, I'm assuming this has got to be your secondary um, motherboard eight pin cable. There's one Molex with two Molexes on it. There's one SATA with a total of four, four SATAs on it. And we've got another Molex, this time with three Molexes and a floppy um, drive power. Now a lot of you, and I've, uh, I've heard this a fair amount, a lot of you say, oh we don't need floppy power anymore, what's the point of putting it on there? But for um, say the Asus Sonar D2X uses a floppy bay connection for power. So there are still items out there that are um, going to be uh, using these. So that's still quite handy. Now, I'm going to come in, I'm going to try and get this, because my camera's, uh, I've got it on macro, but it's still, it's getting funny lately with macros. But the braiding is quite good, although... The braid, if I show you down here, is quite thick and tidy. Sometimes with braid it can be quite, you can see the cables through and it's not brilliant, but this is quite a good quality. I think they've used different braid on the rest of it because if you have a look at that you can actually see the cables through it now I don't know whether it's just because it's stretched but I can see the uh, the cables through that one and on this one you couldn't and there's another uh, this one's just two safeties anyway we'll get all these in the box We'll move the uh, power supply over. Cool blinders, it wants some weight. Now, it does come with a power cable, uh, but uh, where I've got it from Mushkin in the States, they sent me a power cable which is a US one. So, you'd either, yeah, I'm not sure whether the UK stock will have these or not. But, not being funny, a kettle needs quite easy to get. And then you also, if I just pop this out, I've got a selection of Velcro straps as well for table tying in. On the actual main body of the power supply itself, you've got a 24 pin, but it's 20 pin plus 4 pin, so you can unclip the end should you have a 20 pin motherboard. If I bring you in, you can see a bit better. Right, you've got a uh, the 4 pin you can unclip on the end. You've got a further 2 PCI Express, which means you could quite happily run 3 graphics cards with um, dual connectors on and a power supply will feed it and then you've got uh, another board, another 8 pin um, uh, CPU power but this time it's uh, split 4 and 4 now what I have noticed is that the connections are colour coded so the, the blue is the um, CPU power obviously the black is just the normal motherboard power and the SATAs and the Molexes are black and then the PCI Expresses are this dark blue. Then when we look round on the actual power supply itself, you can see if I zoom back out again quick, there we go. 
you can see that you've got the uh, black fitments there for the Molex and the SATA and that secondary um, uh, 8 pin power for the motherboard and then you've got the uh, PCR Express down here. Now the fan on this is 120 millimeters, but you can have it uh, it's a free colour fan and uh, you can set it to three different colours as I've said a few times now and it's uh, green, blue or red uh, but you can also turn it off as well, you can flick between the three and if you have a look on the back there's a little switch back here so you can have it green or off, blue or off and then right at the end it's red so you can flip between the three so this is a pretty good uh, way so you can actually customise the um, colour of your rig. Another feature that this uh, power supply has got, so if you have a look down at the bottom here, you've got split or combine. Now this is pretty much quite a clever um, switch that you can um, literally have six, sorry if I get it back in, there we go, you can either have six separate rails or you can flick it across to combine the rails so I have one massive uh, rail which is, uh, I've never seen this on a power supply before so it'll be quite interesting to see how that copes, obviously if you were running like torturous graphics cards or something like that rather than having the 19 amp rails you might prefer to just have a gigormous rail now the thing is with this is I've not actually seen from Mushkin uh, the, any data on uh, what amperage the rails will run uh, if you combine all six of them together. I'm not sure whether you'll get the total of all of the amperage and all the rails all flooding through a single one or whether you do just get 19. Yeah, so anyway, be interested to find that out. I'm assuming that you just get um, it all forced through as if it's one. Anyway, back to the aesthetics of the rig. There we go, we can get it in. 120mm fan. Uh, I can't help but think that, because it's quite a big power supply, that they might have been better off using a 140mm fan. I don't know uh, whether this is going to be loud or anything yet because I've not fired it up. Um, or whether it's just because they could only get the tricolour fan in 120mm, but that's just something from the outside that I'm looking at, and uh, it's just something that's coming to my mind. The mesh around the back, that's pretty wide open mesh, so I'm hoping that the airflow will be quite good. But when you actually do look inside, it does look immensely busy in there, so it might need all that mesh. Now, I'm uh, quite a fan of having my power supplies, especially when they're in the bottom with the fan facing up, so it's nice to see a nice clean side, but if, you're, if you like all the labels and stuff, it's, you've got it on the other side and then you've got a normal label on the top, giving you all the details of the power supply. And the powder coat is kind of, it is glossy, but it's glossy with a texture, yeah, try and get it in the light so you can see. Yeah, it's glossy with a texture. It's definitely not matte, but it's not satin either. It's quite a strange one. But, nonetheless, it's quite a tidy looking power supply. Now, I just want to show you something quickly. Right then, guys. Mushkin sent me this power supply as well. Literally, just uh, the guy that I, I talked to at Mushkin, he said, just if you want to use it, use it. We'll just send it to you. Just let us know what you think. So it wasn't necessarily in for review, and uh, they didn't necessarily ask me to even cover it on YouTube. It was just for me to have a look at, me to use, even do you know what I mean, as, as a spare. But I thought I'd show you because I wanted to say on video to so Mushkin that I would really like them to use this coating on future power supplies because. This power supply has been about for quite a few years, but it's got. Let me see if I can get it to show. It's quite difficult for it to show on the camera, but it's got this kind of fleckily. 
there you go you can see it there perfectly kind of multicolour fleckle there we go camera sorted itself out now I really like that and if that Mushkin logo was on both sides of the power supply so that no, so if you had it in your power supply that way round you could see it and if you had your power supply that way round you'd still get the power supply the Bushkin logo and also if it had 120 rather than the two I'm not sure whether these are 60s or 80s but that would be amazing but I really like that coating and that finish now this is a 650 water Ooh, you can see my room in the background uh, this is a 650 water and there's quite a few places that still stock this it's not massively expensive and it's just got the two 80 millimeter fans but again as I said this isn't being sent for review but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this in my because I've got a, uh, a dedicated rig now set up for um, heatsink testing I'm going to be chucking this in the heatsink test rig because 650 watts is more than enough but anyway let's get back to the main 1200 watt right then guys I've got it all fitted now in my bench rig just wanted to show you the three colours uh, we've got green there which is obviously mushkin green but also could be very well suited to an uh, Nvidia based system Nvidia green and we move down and we've got a blue uh, there's no sort of like major blues apart from sort of like Intel but it's a really nice blue uh, quite a lot of people with water cooling end up with blue coolant so that could all, all tie in uh, some of the Cooler Master cases uh, the uh, white 690 for example comes with blue fans so that could all tie in but then flip down and we've got red which could be Republic of Gamers black and red could be a lot of the Cooler Master cases, they come with red fans, ties in with ATI, so there's the free, and it's literally just a switch on the back, uh, I'll show you, just pushing the switch up, and you can change the, th the, the fans to whatever you want. I think I'm going to have mine on blue, because it ties in with the uh, uh, theme of the bench rig and the website. I really need to get these stickers changed to blue ones as well. Anyway that's enough of that just wanted to show you the other power supply now as you can see that's extremely reflective and the reason why it'd be amazing if we had more power supplies like this is, uh, a lot of people say when they've got especially a water cooled system when the graphics card points downwards they can't see the underside of the graphics card so for the water pumping around, or just the graphics card in general, even if you've got a normal one, but if you've got a power supply that's that shiny, you look at how reflective and you can see everything in that. It's like having a massive mirror at the bottom of your system. And as I said, this is my uh, heat sink test rig at the moment. I normally have the 950 in there. That's a Mushkin Radioactive and that's a Gigabyte UD3 RV2. I uh, normally have a 6870 in there as well, it's not in there at the moment. I used it in the £600 gaming rig. But, yeah, there you go. It's not completely installed yet, but I will get round to it. Right then, guys and girls. Or lights are all over the place again today. Uh, that's it. This is the end of the video. This is uh, pretty much where I'm going to leave it because, as I said, I'm going to be using the 1200 watt in the uh, main rig and the 650 watt in here. Although I may swap this out because I have got another 1000 watt version of the dual. So, don't know. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I've put this one in here for now because I think it goes best in the kind of white rig and I won't need an immense amount of power. Uh, but I may put a thousand watt in there just so, just so it's in there. But anyway, so that's the end of the uh, Mushkin power supplies. Uh, if you've got any questions about these, purchasing them, 
what they'd be good for, all that kind of stuff. This is the place to do it, or you can go and post it, go and put 3D forums. I'm not going to make another video kind of updating how I've been getting on with them, I'm just going to carry on using them. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, my power supplies in the uh, bench stuff, all changed out, and uh, we'll see how we get on. This is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you.